Welcome back to my dungeon. And I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. Get your shit off a of cool coin. Please, get it off. Oh shit, bro, you got a spider on your hoodie, bro. You got a spider on your hoodie, bro. Oh shit. It's fast as hell, it went down your shirt, bro. Did you get it? And I say that because how I see it and how I've seen it is that whenever KYC is implemented on the centralized exchanges, it means that that exchange is probably being looked at by regulatory bodies and then that exchange will likely disappear. Now, yes, this is my opinion, but I have a couple examples for you all to sort of just ponder about. One example is actually Bittrex. When I made my Bittrex account back in 2017, they were not asking for KYC. They were not asking for any information from me. It was free and open for anybody to use and didn't need to supply that sort of stuff. A little bit later in the bull run of 2017, 2018 kind of faded and 2019 came around and then they started asking for KYC. Sorry, Bittrex, I never provided that. And I'm almost certain a lot of other people didn't provide that KYC either. So then what I did and likely others is we just took our coin off of Bittrex and then moved it somewhere else, either cold storage or some software wallet or you know some other centralized exchange. But I personally stopped using Bittrex. Then come to find out, Bittrex was in some trouble with the US government over some money laundering issues. Anyways, they didn't have a robust KYC system in place. So, you know, they were getting hit from all over the place. People who didn't want to supply that KYC left, which was mostly US customers. And then the regulatory bodies were just attacking them. So now it's 2023 and Bittrex has closed their doors. That is just one extreme example, but there's another example being played out right now and it's probably gonna hit a couple people hard because I think it's Binance. Now Binance kind of started off the same way as Bittrex where you could sign on and not have to provide any of that KYC, which was very nice. But then, obviously they started saying, hey, we want to comply to all of these laws. And I mean, if you didn't comply before, then you're already in trouble, so then why even try to do it now? But again, they're probably being watched by regulatory bodies, and that's exactly what happened. So they started doing KYC, the SEC and other regulatory bodies started coming after Binance, and now we're seeing that being played out now. Now, I took all my funds off of Binance a while ago when they started this whole KYC thing, but I'm just watching this as it plays out, and a lot of people say Binance is too big to fail. <laughs> but then look at FTX. Come on. So now we get to KuCoin, and then they also want to implement some KYC measures. Do you really think that this came out of the blue? I don't think so. Their company was running just perfectly and then all of a sudden they want to implement KYC. I think something is a brewing. Now, I don't know where my tinfoil hat is. I don't need it because I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but what I do utilize is past events to predict the future. And I really do think that KuCoin is probably having some issues in the background. And then this sort of KYC thing is not going to help them. A lot of customers are going to leave KuCoin, which is then going to affect their business as well. So they're going to probably end up in the same position as Bittrex. I don't know. But again, looking at past events to predict the future. My only advice here is to take your coin, token, whatever you have on KuCoin, remove it immediately and find some other place to stash it. This way, if something does actually happen, then you're golden. Another thing is, is if you truly do want to use KuCoin and you want to provide that information to them, that know your customer, your ID, all your personal information, think about this. Do you really trust the security on the KuCoin side to hold all your personal information like that? I know me personally, I don't trust KuCoin like that. Sorry, but I don't. Um, so you also have to think about that as well when you're providing that sort of information that know your customer information to these exchanges. So again, I can't stress this enough. 
get that coin off, find some other place for it because the past can repeat itself. Otherwise, if you like this rant, you know the deal. Like, share, comment, and peace.